Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some pretty cool things that your iPhone can do on iOS 18 that you probably didn't know about. Now, as we know, iPhones and iOS updates always tend to have a ton of new features, which most users actually don't know, but they're actually really, really useful. So you must know all these cool new features that your iPhone has in order to get the most out of your new device. So first of all, we're heading to the voice memo app. So with voice memos on iOS 18, whenever you have recorded something, you will be able to now on replace anything that you want on that recording. So if we have a recording right here, what we can do with this, if we just tap right there, we can just go ahead and choose the part. Let's say we want to replace this part right there. We just place the cursor right here and then tap on replace. And from now on, we can go ahead and record the new thing we want to record and it will replace the old one. Now, when it comes to recordings, you probably know that you can also record a voice memo on the notes app. So on the notes app, you will have this attach button and right here you can now pretty much attach anything you want to your notes from a voice recording to files to photos and of course scan document and text. But if we tap on record audio, we can start recording here and what it does is pretty cool. We can lock the device and it will also continue recording even though you can see right there the microphone at the top it will continue recording even though the device is turned off basically the screen has been locked so this is also a very useful feature another pretty cool feature can be found here on the new photo another pretty cool feature can be found on the camera app so on the camera app you will have two different ways you can shoot a portrait picture either either from Another pretty cool feature can be found here on the camera app. So on the camera app previously, when you go to portrait mode, of course, you can shoot portrait pictures and you can change the lighting from here. But you can also shoot portrait pictures on the photo mode, but it didn't allow to change the lighting. You could only do that if you're on the portrait mode. But now, whenever you're on the photo mode, you will get this button right here that actually allows you to change the lightning of that portrait picture directly from the photo mode here without having to move to the portrait mode. Now with the new iOS 18 features, the new shortcut features and the action button, you can actually do a lot. Now I know the action button is actually quite underrated on iOS 18 and in every device actually that it is on the, all the new iPhone 16 models and the iPhone 15 Pros. But if you combine it with the shortcuts app, you can do a lot. Like this action right here that has been added to iOS 18, we can just go ahead and right here just search for search And once you have done that, just tap on search right there and tap done. And this will basically invoke the search, the spotlight search of your device. And now you can set this to your action button. You head on to your settings and then all you have to do is go to action button right here and just scroll here to shortcuts and just find the shortcut you just created. So there we have search. And now you can use this to invoke the spotlight search. Now, of course, this is right here on the home screen. It's not that useful because you can just like swipe down. But if you're on an app, then you can invoke spotlight search anytime you want. This allows you to just invoke the spotlight search anywhere on your iPhone. It doesn't matter on which app you're at or what you're doing. You just go ahead and invoke the spotlight search just by holding the action button. With iOS 18, Apple has also made a ton of improvements to the iMessage app. Of course, the new RCS features, the ability to send messages later, and another great feature is the ability to now send images that are over 100 megabytes. So you can just send an original image without having to actually resize it or without having to compress it. You can just send an original message directly from here with any image size you want. Now, what's really cool is also the links that you send. So whenever you're sending a link to someone on iOS 18, whether that be like maybe it is a link of a website or a video or something like that, you will be able to actually edit that so you can convert to link text like that 
or what you can also do is go ahead and tap on customize so if we tap on customize right there it will give us a few different options which we can use when sending that link and you can see here the two difference the differences between the same link you can send like a large image there or just like a small preview now here is another pretty cool feature that will come to your iPhone pretty soon with iOS 18.1 if you're not already on iOS 18.1. So head on to your settings and then go under focus and you will have here reduce interruptions. This is a new like focus mode that Apple has added to iOS 18. So we can tap on reduce interruptions right there. We have it turned on. Now this will utilize AI to reduce interruptions for you, but you can still edit this focus even though it's kind of like automatic you will have here the screens you can go ahead and customize the lock screen home screen and you can also choose the watch face for your apple watch you can add a schedule and also you will have options here to show on lock screen or hide notification badges and even allow or not allow people and apps everything can be edited just like a normal focus mode now here's a pretty cool thing that you can do with the cursor on iOS 18. So you can see right here we have a blinking cursor and it will basically be blinking like that if we don't turn off a setting. You can choose to do that or not by simply heading on under accessibility, then go to motion and then you will have here prefer non-blinking cursor. If you do that, you can see the cursor will just stay like that. It will be just blue in this case. And again, you can just go ahead and turn that on or off anytime you want simply by going under the motion settings. Now with iOS 18.1, Apple has added a ton of cool new features to the Photos app. The ability to clean up photos is just amazing. You tap on the edit button, you will have cleanup right there. But what's really cool is that you can also hide faces. So if you have a picture where you have a face that you want to hide, you simply circle that face. And as you can see right there, it says safety tool applied. That way you will be able to just hide any face you want. You simply select it like that and you're good to go. On the podcast app, we also have some pretty cool new features. And one of them is the chapters where you can just go ahead and tap to move between different chapters. This is pretty amazing. It's actually very easy to move like this through different podcasts. And you can see the list of chapters right there with the titles. And you can just go to anything that you're interested on. But you, what you can also do is share the episode from any specific time that you want. You tap on the three dots right there and then tap on share episode. And once you hear tap from start and it will give you the current time you're where you're at, where you're listening to the podcast, you can go ahead and choose that specific time, tap on done. And now when you copy this link or share this episode anywhere, it will start at that specific time. Of course, one of the most updated parts of the iOS 18 software is the new home screen. You can actually do a ton on the home screen of your iOS 18 device. You probably know that with iOS 18, you can actually turn any like icon of an app that you have into a widget without having to go to the widgets panel. But did you know that even if you have like an I like a widget like this one right here, when I go to the edit mode, I have that grabber which allows me to also change the size of that widget. So if you have an app that offers three different sizes for the widget, you can just go ahead and change here from the smallest one to the medium and then to the biggest one as easy as this. Now, of course, this is super useful and you can even turn this into the icon of the app. So if we 3D touch right there and choose that one, it will now turn the widget into an app. And last but not least, on your home screen, whenever you go to tint your icons, you will have the ability to do that here automatically. So you tap right there, iOS will pick a color that is more dominant on the wallpaper that you have and will tint your icons just like that. But if you wanna change that, you can of course change it. And, and any time that you think you don't like that color anymore, you don't like that tint, you wanna to go to the default one, you can just go ahead and go to customize and just tap the tint icon again, and it will reset the tint to the one that it has chosen by default. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are 12 things that you can do on your iPhone with the new iOS 18 that you probably didn't even know about. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you did. Of course, subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you on the next one.